Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. This is kind of more of an about me thing than anything else. <laughs> Pink Fox is trying to say hi over here. Um, yeah, she, she, she be struggling. Anyway, um, no edits on this video just because it's one of the first two. It's not like the second more intricate ones. Uh, kind of as an about me thing today, what I'm doing is I'm actually pulling up here this is a kahoot which it's kind of a multi optional quiz game type website thing so a lot I have 33 questions on here uh, about myself um, that I'm going to be answering I'm going to keep talking because I know the backgrounds pretty much no music at all so pardon that but either way around, um, full disclosure, before we start, I'm going to push practice because otherwise it won't let me properly start it. Um, but full disclosure on this, uh, some of the questions on here may have changed over time. That's why each of the questions over here are like tw 240 seconds each. That way I can talk about it if I decide to. That being said... Let's open up a new tab to get started, and you know what? I'll go by the channel name right now, which is no longer what it used to be, but Nostalgia Train. It used to be Nostalgia Cave. That's what I mean. Before his favorite color was red, what was his favorite? Blue. Blue. Mine used to be blue up until the end of my high school years. Um, it was when I started more frequently watching YouTube. Not really doing anything in regards to it, but watching it at least. That's kind of what shifted it. I guess it was the attraction to the color itself. There's some psychology behind it that I don't understand, but, you know. How many instruments have I played in my life? Hmm. <laughs> of course I'd put that first one. What? What's an instrument? I've definitely not played all of them. As funny as that would be. Let's see. Okay, so I've played... I don't remember the name of it, but it's like a percussion instrument that kind of curves in. It's like an upside down... Well, it's like a bowl shape. I'll put it that way. I played one... I, I don't remember the name of it, but that... Piano, trombone, tuba, baritone... French horn. Uh, fr yeah, French horn and violin. So, yeah, seven. Just wanted to make sure that was actually accurate. Okay, next up, why is that name, that's probably just, probably just a computer. Okay, I consider open relationships healthy. This answer fluctuates depending on when I'm editing this. Um, I did not change, I haven't changed this since version 3 was finished, which was a little bit ago, and I forgot to change this. Nowadays, the answer would actually be false. I don't think open relationships are healthy at all. But I think when I first created the question, I thought that was true. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Okay. So, but yeah, nowadays I would just say that, no, I don't agree I'm with that. Married. It's not just because I'm married. It's also the fact that when you try to do an open relationship, a lot of the time it can falter into really bad situations. I, okay, true or false, I have three siblings. No, I have two. One brother, one, yeah, one brother, one sister. No, one brother. Genetic. I'll need to change that. That is true, though. Pink Fox is right. Genetically, that does make it. I have a lot if we're talking about by marriage. Then, again, that question was meant for specifically genetically. Anyway. What was my favorite core class topic in high school? Mathematics. I didn't even look at the answers. I know it's math. Has been for a long time. Since late elementary school, I believe. Before that, I don't know if I had a favorite. Maybe English? I'm not considering English. It was like... What, what was it called? I don't know. Which sport have I done? Let's see. Soccer, tennis, swimming, gymnastics. Technically, technically, I've done two of them. So, 
the one I've done the most of is probably the one that I actually picked, which would be swimming. But tennis is technically one I've done as well. It's just the only I I only did that for a short period of time, so I guess that's kind of why it would make sense that I pick swimming. Not to mention, as Pink Fox just said, I do have the body of a swimmer, so I needed. <laughs> Jeez, this one's a, okay. Yeah, question: I needed growth hormones as a kid. That's true. That is true. I was like early teens, I think. I was stuck at like four feet. So I used them for like about two, three years, I think. Something like that? I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, before my current style of humor, what kind of humor did I have? Dark. Sexual. No? Actually, Pink Fox just guessed dark. No. My humor before my current, which I can, which is considered called dry humor, was actually sexual humor. What a lot of kids have. Yeah. Yeah, well. Anyway, let's see. True or false? I have thin hair. False. That is false. I have very thick hair. Very thick hair. Okay. All right. Sheesh. Looking at the different scores is kind of interesting, especially since all of them are just <laughs> um, computers. It's not real people. Anyway, there was a point in my life where I struggled to even get out of bed. Uh, a hiatus? I mean, yeah, but it's not that I struggled to get out of bed. It's just that I had, I had a hard time trying to figure anything out. I cooped myself up in my room for a long time. That lasted for about a year and a half. Yeah, it ended around that time, yeah. A little bit before, but around that time. Then I attacked him with my heart. Uh, can you tell him 200, please, Tilly? One of my favorite artists is Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, that's true. It stands to this day. When I was introduced to him, when was I introduced to him? It was either middle school or high school. The only thing I directly remember is the song that introduced me to him was a song called Dare to be Stupid, which, for those who don't know, is a parody of the song That's Good. Um, which one was it? Was it high school or middle school? Actually, high school. It was during a biology class, now that I think about it. No one paid attention. Instead, they just listened to music. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay, so next question says, what was the first 80s song I was introduced to? Let's see. Dead Man's Party, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, F You, which I probably should change how that is, um, or Animals. Actually, first of all, Animals and F You are not 80s. They're early 2000s, but they kind of, they direct to the same mindset. Um... Between Boulevard and Broken Dreams and Dead Man's Party, I heard about Dead Man's Party long before the alternative. It was, yeah, I actually remember that very thoroughly anyway. Okay, question 13. As of June 25th, 2021, how many times had I moved? 12 times. Because that was right before I moved into the apartment that Pink Fox and her ex-roommate actually helped me move into. So, 12 times. It was yeah, I know, but she was there. That's the point. She was there. She didn't help. Eh. Either way. She wasn't there for anything else. That's true. What was the first video game system I ever played? Nintendo. This? Yeah. Nintendo 64. Sega Genesis, I've never touched. PS4, I owned this very day since it came out. Um, and Atari? Yeah, like Sega Genesis, I've never touched an Atari. There's that. My dad actually bought the N64 for me. 
think the game he got it was like when it first came out, so it was Mario 64, along with a couple of different party games, but other than that, what is my favorite video game franchise? Zelda. That That's never changed. It got close with Kingdom Hearts, but it's never changed. God of War is a hack and slash that's okay in my opinion, but I never got into it, and Tomb Raider, I started it, got stuck, and never touched it again. <laughs> On my YouTube channel, I removed my first series I made. What was it of? The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I remember that because the first series, the first episode, um, this happened when my um, sense of humor was still kind of altering into its change, but I kind of, I remember slipping up a term. So I was trying to say Baco Club, which is a weapon, for those who don't know in the game, that one of the smaller enemies has. And I said Baco Blub instead, and that was the name of the first episode. So, and that was the first video I did that I had removed. So yeah, Breath of the Wild. Biggest game that I've ever played, too. Craziest man I've ever known. Okay, question 17. Before my current channel, I owned a different one. What was it called? Multi thing 101. And the reason that got depleted was actually because of an email that had this name, Dave Got Fish. Uh, the reason I removed it was because of a lot of pro pro certain situations that kind of led to many, many unnecessary problems. But Multi Thing 101 was the name of the channel I owned then. The only thing it had on it at the time was a couple of vlogs. A one kind of goofy spoof video that I did with my, um, no, my family actually, and other than that, it had a gaming series of Super Mario Galaxy, which has been redone on this channel completely anew, kind of anew. It's a little bit old at this point, but still. Okay, true or false? If I feel a strong bond to someone, I can get very sensitive for their sake. Yeah. That's been true for a very long time. That's true for a lot of people as well. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Give me a sec. Okay, sorry. Um, important stuff going on simultaneously. I wish I could focus on both at the same time, but it would look really weird if I could try. When did I move to Utah? May 2017. My dad actually helped me move up here when I first did. Um, about two years prior to that, my sister actually moved up here. I think her original plan was to go to either UVU or BYU, and she went, no, UVU, because she went there for a little bit. But by the time I moved up here, she was going to, I believe, M-Tech. Uh, Mountain Land Tech, by the way, for those who don't know. I've had a YouTube friend since 2019. That would be D9. Danny Wilson. I actually met him at my day job at the time, which was, at the current moment, at, well, at the moment of this was actually McDonald's. It was when I first started working at the McDonald's I had been working at. Um, I crossed paths with him while he and I believe... If I remember correctly, it was Mixer Wizard, another YouTuber who's also a friend of his. Uh, both of them came by, and Danny and I got talking for a little bit and exchanging channels. Since then, we've been supporting each other's channels, and we've been really close friends since. Of these, which college did I attend? What do you have on here? ASU? Actually, UVU is the right answer. Um, but ASU, I was given the option of. BYU, my dad attended, but I did not. CSU, I think I can sit. I, I thought about it at a point, but because of expensive expenses, it didn't end up happening. ASU and UVU were the two that kind of got split, and I ended up choosing UVU just because of certain situations that enticed me Is to move up here. Man? Yeah. Uh, my ex girlfriend was up here at the time, and at the moment. I kind of wanted to get in touch with her again in person, but that all went down a really bad path. But I've talked about that already, not going to do it again. UVU is the right answer. Oh, uh, boy. I'll be right back.
fact. Okay, Pink Fox is being fed now. Little interruption there. Oh well. I'm the one who bought the food, so I should have gone and picked it up anyway. Anyway, um, mm hmm. I compare songs to reality as symbolism. This is true. I've shown live, or not live, but I've shown vlogs before that actually prove this, but yes, I do. There's not really much, not really much to say about that one, though. It's just the fact that I keep relating them to my life. In what game playthrough was Bob first created? Uh, he was actually founded while doing a live stream of Kingdom Hearts trying to go up against one of the hardest bosses in the game. Uh, Sephiroth and, from Final Fantasy VII and a secret boss because this was in the 1.5 remix which is kind of a remake of it for those who don't know but there's another boss that's actually technically the final boss of the sequel who appears in that game so it was while I was going up against that last secret boss where Bob was kind of created hitting on six different Disney princesses. <laughs> At the time, he was more of a drunkard than anything else, but he's kind of adapted. He's not sober now. How many girls that I have fallen for have screwed me over to the point where I broke? Three. I can name them off the bat, but I'm not going to do yes, it. Sir. Nope, don't. There's a reason I'm not doing it. <laughs> I prefer DC. No. You like well, I like Marvel a lot more than DC. The only time I'll make the exception is very, very, very specific DC games. But otherwise, Marvel for the win. I literally just finished Walk. Why did I push true? I'm an idiot. In a way, both are true. But, yeah, I, I prefer Marvel over DC big time. I've read the comics, I've seen the movies, I've watched the shows. The only exception is that some of their games are meh. Which character was not created on my channel? Karen? That was definitely created on my channel, along with Bob. Andrew was, but he doesn't come out very often. Thing was the one that wasn't. Thing was actually created in high school. Um, my junior year, I believe. No, it was long before that. Which TV show have I not seen? The Dick Van Dyke Show, MASH, Bones, or Psych? Actually, of these four, Bones. I've never seen Bones. Really? You didn't know that? No. Okay, question 28. What was the name of the first anime I ever watched? I forgot the name of it, actually. I know what it is. It's... Kirby. No. Something of Blue Water. Um, what are the answers here? Blue Exorcist? No. I watched that after watching Sword Art Online because of the actor, actually. Avatar The Last Airbender? Hmm, no. Ironically, Ruby is actually one of the answers on here. Ruby was one of the more recent ones, to be honest. It's your favorite one. It's definitely my favorite one, but it's not the first one. That one. Nadia's Secret of Blue Water. This is the one that I was... That's when I was introduced to anime. Right after I had got halfway through this one, I started watching Sword Art Online, and I got attached to that and completely blew over Nadia. Never finished it. Okay, question 29. Which topic did I go to college for? There are a couple. I know. Uh... Business management, game design, CNA, or pfft, who needs Nursing school? And psychology. CNA is the top one. Yeah, CNA. I'm so, I'm, it's probably a good thing I didn't put psychology on here because that technically would have been a correct answer too. But, yeah. CNA of those four. Who is the reason why I don't like sports? No hatred or anything, this but cousin, it's because Spencer. it's my uh, first cousin three times. Some. Something cousins, something times are moving. It's my uncle's sister's wife's son. Or my uncle's wife's sister's son. That's what it is. Um, he scream at the TV so much to the point where I just dreaded liking the sports roommate. at all. It's, 
it's 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 not particularly i don't hate on him for it i mean he it just shows how much into it he is but people who are like that i i don't know for some reason i can't be around when it comes to that stuff even when it comes to like video games or board games card games you name it if people get that too into it i'm done you don't do no you're not as bad as this is i'll say that um question 31 Overall, there were two classes in college I took. Which were they? Hmm. Sociology and filmography? No, but I did have interest in those, so I kind of did it on my own time. Psychology and creative writing? Actually, no. <laughs> mathematics and social skills or mathematics and psychology? Actually, math and social skills. Fun fact, social skills here is actually technically considered a psychology class. So... <laughs> That's why. So, question 32. In my life, how many enemies have I made? The same number of people who became my exes because of them doing bad things. Three. That was... Actually, now that I think about it, that answer should be changed, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Outside of Kingdom Hearts as Sora... This is the last one. Outside of Kingdom Hearts as Sora... What other production has have I seen Haley Joel Osment in? Uh, Beauty and the Beast as Chip. That's technically not true to a degree. In the Christmas special, he was playing Chip, but he wasn't in the original Beauty and the Beast. Uh, the Sixth Sense as Cole Seer is technically the right answer. This is the right answer. As far as Dragons, the Nine Realms as Buzzsaw, he's not in that at all, actually. Uh, Legend of the Dragons, by the way. This is based off of um, the trilogy of DreamWorks films. Um, the Jungle Book classic as Baloo the Bear is wrong to a degree. He wasn't playing the Blue Bo Baloo the Bear. He was playing Mowgli, and it wasn't the original classic Jungle Book. It was the Jungle Book 2. The Sixth Sense is the right answer. There you go. 33 facts about me. <laughs> And some other details within that as well. Okay, Shima got third. Uh, Robin got second. Kudos to the, you know, these guys. And I got first. Gee, I wonder how that happened. <laughs> 32 out of 30. The only reason the 30, it was 32 is because that one was unintentional. Because I'm big dumb. Anyways, there. You just learned 33 things about me in one video. In about 22 minutes. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll, I might update this in the, in the n near future or something. If I do, then we might do another one of these. If not, then this is pretty much things that people know about me, I guess. I, that I, I have revealed about me. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. If you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. Um, Want to check out any other uh, videos that are like uh, about me type of things. Normally I'd say they're next to my face, but since we're still in this form, um, click the link across my here somewhere. It'll be top or bottom. Honestly, I don't know which at this point because I never do this with these kind of things. Uh, so let's go with the bottom. Um, the bottom will show you that uh, y y y you'll see it. Anyways, Pink Fox is distracting me with other IRL stuff. I gotta get going. Thanks for watching, guys, and we hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.